Oh, we're recording. I got to make sure we're recording because usually I don't. <laughs> hey, how you doing? It's me, o San Martin, over here at the Prescott E! News office. Um, I haven't been on the Quad City business beat for almost a dang month, so I'm here and I'm back and I had to come back because we have a special guest, but let's turn it over to the host with the most. Hey, everybody. Thanks for tuning in for the Quad City's business beat. We're here all about local businesses. I am your host, Lynette Hoyt. I am an independent ambassador for Plexus Worldwide. So the next time you are in need of some new probiotics, hit me up. Hit up our Facebook page at, at Simply Plexus. We'd love to have you as a customer. Um, yeah, San Martin, we've missed you. I know. I missed myself. We were starting to feel like you were doing that on purpose. I know. I, I missed myself. I don't I know seriously, if miss I is the right word. I lost yeah. myself. <laughs> I was a missing in action, and you guys noticed. Thank I know. We did that. notice. Thank you for Our, our hashtags it. did uh, suffer a little bit. We I, do work well for hashtags together. I, I have a couple more for you guys from the last uh, few um, uh, interviews, so we're going <laughs> to make right. it happen. We're going to make it We got a lot of stuff we got to make up for. Yes, we do. Uh, today, we have a uh, really great guest, um, Mark with Mark's Beer Garden. Have you all been to Mark's Beer Garden yet? Hi, Mark. Hello. I think it's kind of one of those hidden it's, well. <laughs> it's kind of one of those hidden, hidden gems hidden in gems. the community. You know, uh, so we have Mark with Mark's Beer Garden. We also have Zach, of course. You know, just the Zach. Zach. You on the Zachary. you on the podcast can't see me do, giving guns, but on the Facebook <laughs> you can see me giving guns. We try to make this that a light conversation. As we it was. It was. <laughs> we try to make this a fun conversation, learning about um, local businesses in the area. What brought them here? Um, why they're here, how they get it here, and it's not just Prescott, it's Quad Cities. So um, anyway, let's start with Mark. Mark, who are you? What do you do? I am uh, Mark Davidson. I'm the owner and operator of Mark's Beer Garden off of uh, Iron Springs, uh, actually Swenson Street, but I tell people Iron Springs mm -hmm. because that's how we get there, just down the street from the uh, Dry Gulch Steakhouse. So you make a left at that light, you know where that's at, right before Iron mm -hmm. Springs Cafe, you make a left. Correct. Right. Yep. Gotcha. Beals Auto Body is right there. Is it Beals? Yep. Beals Beer, Auto Body. Beals. Make a left at Beals Auto Body. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's been there yeah, forever. Coming from Prescott. Yes. That's been there forever. Has it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Of course. The family has. Oh. Uh -huh. I know the family. Sure. They're pretty cool. So tell us your background. Uh, it is a very... It's varied. <laughs> I, uh, I, I, there's, there's, a little, there's not much stuff I haven't done. Uh, so you're uh, jack of all trades, master. Yeah, should we start like uh, five, five years back, one year back? <laughs> we'll do. Uh, I just, I, I grew up in Southern Ohio. Okay. Uh, Midwest was, guy. As an, as an adult, I uh, was a GM of a movie theater and a lumber yard in my hometown, and got tired of that. Decided to move to Park City, Utah, because I thought it was pretty. Wow, and, that's a big jump. Uh, became a bank teller. Worked my way up through uh, the ranks of U.S. Bank there, and. Uh, when it was time to leave there, I uh, decided to work for a, thank you, I decided to work for a brewery out of Mississippi uh, called Lazy Magnolia. I became their national sales and uh, marketing manager. And then I worked for Budweiser in Arkansas as they were, Arkansas was one of the states I worked closely with uh, to distribute that beer. And after that, I uh, became a bartender and just absolutely fell in love with it. And the whole time I was too busy to spend any money, so I always wanted to start my own business. I went to college for... <laughs> Uh, business and entrepreneurship at Ohio University in Athens and after uh, a while being a bartender I figured if I was going to work seven, like work 70 hours a week I was I needed to own a place instead of just work there so I started looking around and during this whole time of me bouncing around the country my parents and sister uh, both moved to uh, Arizona so while visiting them I found Prescott and loved it that's awesome <laughs> that was like a treasure hunt <laughs> that never was really a treasure hunt. Yeah, <laughs> it just kind of took yeah, you all it, over. If you yeah, look at your map, like the, you're the, like the cartoon map, or like the right? uh, <laughs> the Raiders of the Lost Ark. You just yeah. see the red line. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yes, with the sound effects and all. That sounds crazy. <laughs> so um, I've known a lot about your business because mm -hmm. I, I, that's what I'd like to do. I'd like to oh, yeah, watch people do their things. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, the best part about it is that it's, it's really honestly a homely place, like where you, you go in there and it feels like your backyard type of deal. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. Um, how many beers do you have on tap? I have 20 beers on tap right now. Are they all microbreweries? Or? Uh, no, a lot of them are, are, a couple of them are your, your American macro beers. I've got... Uh, Coors Light, uh, Shiner Bach on right now just for, you know, we try to accommodate everybody. Uh, we have several uh, local uh, brews on. We, we will sometimes carry like Pres Prescott Brewing Company or Granite Mountain. 
uh, places like that. And then a lot of them are just regional uh, craft beers that, or, or even national ones. Like you'd see like a Lagunitas or um, just like a, what else is on right now? Um, drawing a blank. I could The 805? <laughs> yeah, I've got the 805, the things 805. like that. The Lots of beers from California. Uncle Bear's is on, uh, things like that. So you have a good variety for people. Yeah, varieties are good. Mm-hmm. I, I used to be a Coors Light drinker. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, this is not good for my body. And then I was like, I'm quitting drinking. Yeah. And then all of a sudden I went to uh, Park Plaza Deli and um, they got they gave me a, um, a Ska Brewery. Oh, yeah. And it was literally called Mexican Lager. I was like, I, 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 want a, I want a lager. And they wanted to hand me a Dos Equis. And I'm like, no, man, I don't want none of that mainstream beer. And then they handed me a, 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 a Ska Brewery that has said Mexican Lager. I mean, yeah. it's like L O O G E R, like Luger. Luger. <laughs> Luger. But it was so awesome. But then again, I, that, that, that was the point when I actually fell in love with uh, microbreweries and, and brews that were from nowhere land right. that nobody knows about. Yeah, a lot of people remember their first craft beer and uh, what made them decide to just go down that rabbit hole. And there I am. <laughs> I remember you know that. Yeah. I can't remember a dang name, but I could go ahead and remember the day I wrote, drank that beer. Yeah, <laughs> where, where, where were you the first time you had a craft beer? See, yeah. priorities, guys, priorities. I can't remember my dad's birthday, but oh, I can remember the first time. But you can remember time. your first craft beer. Yes. Mm-hmm. All right. Priorities. Can you, give, can you give us the date and time of it, though? Yeah, no. what was the expiration date? Not, <laughs> I am not good What's at... What's the lot I, number? Oh, you know what? That's one of the things that I've never been good at is dates and times. Like... Till this day, mm-hmm. I am not good with it at all. So if you ask me Man. what happened, you know, on such and such date, I'll be like, you know, that's a great question because I, I, have, have, no yeah, I have no idea. idea. Yeah, no we're clue. similar on that. Well, People it's your birth or s- birthday, San Martin. Oh, <gasps> oh, thank you. Oh, you know, that's a good thing to forget at a certain age. Yeah, and I actually had, I actually had to say that that one day, uh, one day the last week. They're like, how old are you? I was like, um, I think I stopped counting at, and oh. then I didn't even tell them that age. So. I just stopped it. That's funny. I stopped the conversation. Okay. <laughs> so most people come to Prescott and they want like a downtown location. Right. So you are not at a downtown location. So what made you pick that bar? I really like the beer garden concept. Mm-hmm. The, the, the homey kind of inside where you can have people come and, you know, bring you the food or you can talk to the bartender and they can bring awesome. it to you. But uh, what I really like is having a patio or sitting outside with, you know, a group of five or six friends. And I needed a space that could accommodate that and accommodate live music and, uh, you know, look pretty lit up at night and actually have some trees. I miss trees really bad (laughs) growing up in southern Ohio and then moving out west. It's like people are like, oh, it's so green today. It's like, you don't know what green is. (laughs) (laughs) You don't know what green is. So having those big elm trees out back makes me happy. Yeah, we were just there on Sunday for a party and literally that's exactly what I thought. I grew up in Montana, so literally in the middle of your back patio area there's this giant tree and i'm like this is going to be gorgeous in the summer Mm -hmm. because it's going to put off shade you're not in the hot sun they've got a ton of picnic tables and um they have a little stage in the Mm -hmm. corner and they have cornhole and it is really your neighborhood bar and which leads me into the next thing is really who is your customer uh my customer is people who live out Usually like Williamson Valley or just in the neighborhood, kind of up the hill from across the street. A lot of people who come in tell me that, you know, oh, I only live a two-minute drive from here. Right. And a lot of them tell me, you know, they, they like going downtown for specific things, but they don't like to go downtown and, like, bar hop. It's right. Like, my place is definitely where they go to get their beer and not uh, it's when they have a plan. Yeah, hang not, out. Yeah, hang as, out, yeah. It's relax. like hey, let's go to Mark's, hang out, and relax. Or whereas the square as a whole is is that for the downtown? I well, and like. what's great is you have like daily entertainment, right? So it's not like you just hit Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Like I think you have seven days of six or seven days of yes entertainment. Uh, yeah, we're doing something do you every do? day now. Um, let's see. Today is Tuesday. We're going to uh, let's see. Tuesday's open mic night. Open um, mic night. Yeah. Oh, uh, are there many around here? We got here. Oh, right here. Let's try this out. There's so many. Yeah. We have open mics right here. Yeah. Open, but it's it's Let's been. Let's try this out right now. <laughs> but yeah, it's been one of our more successful nights. I was surprised at how well it took off. Uh, so do people sing? Poetry? Do. They sing is it kind of what play. you it, think it, of as open music. mic night? Is it, it's music? musical. Okay. Yeah. There's uh, we. There's no we poetry had a few comedians at first, and we decided to nix that just because a lot of people. Weren't as funny as they thought they were. <laughs> <laughs> that, that happens sometimes. Yeah. You, you know, um, 
what you know so you know one of the things that you said right before we went on mm -hmm. air was this is a place where you know locals like to go and like to hang out and stuff like that now i i mean is it the locals in the neighborhood or is it the locals in Prescott? Because if I go over there and everybody's like, you're not local, bro, you can't hang out here. Oh, no. They, okay, well, they welcome go. me. I've only been here a year and a half. So. <laughs> <laughs> they welcome you every day. They're yeah, like, right. Mark, you're, you're allowed to come you're allowed hang out. In, like, guys, I don't have a membership yet. Can I get in here? And we could close. do that. Yeah, they have a beer club, Mark's Beer Club. Oh, yeah, that'd be great. And then we could go ahead and go into the beard club. Get it? Beer. The beard. beard, beard, club. beard. beard club. Beard, 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 club. beard, beer and beard. <laughs> the barbarians. Hashtag yeah. beer and beard. The new BBC man. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, I, I was just thinking that I go there because it's got delicious barbecue. Oh my gosh! Oh yeah. We had barbecue on Sunday when we were there for the party, and it was. Oh, yeah, you guys got a full kitchen, right? Oh, uh, it's it's a limited kitchen, but oh, okay. we do have the smoker out back, so we're able to. Uh, the barbecue that they're referring to is the pulled pork sandwich and nachos. Yeah, it was amazing. Um, and then we'll rotate through other forms of barbecue just as as needed for, for a special. So let's talk about your menu. Okay. <laughs> we had Ooh. the barbecue pulled pork nachos. It's too early for this. It was mm -hmm. really I'm good. Hungry, actually. Yeah, yeah, we're we're gonna really going to want to talk about we're this. Gonna have to go, <laughs> we're going to have to go check it out. And we'll actually, do, a, we'll do an online on-site uh interview well, again well we're going to continue food. this today because after this <laughs> he's gone we're going with him yeah <laughs> anyway it's nachos with you can tell us what's on it oh it was it, pulled pork, huge with, chunks um, of pulled pork yeah uh it's about uh anywhere between a third to half huge. a pound of pulled pork uh house made barbecue sauce and then we put uh our beer cheese that we would serve with the pretzels with it so that's a mm -hmm. beer cheese uh basically it's aged cheddar sauce with uh bit burger uh german lager uh a little bit of liquid smoke and a different couple of spices. It's called top. secret sauce. Yeah, secret basically. Sauce. Yeah. Secret sauce. It's yeah. awesome sauce, yeah. Mark's yeah. secret sauce. And then uh, a oh, house made yeah. coleslaw on top. <laughs> so it's, it's definitely barbecue. It's uh, when people first see it, they, they're kind of like, oh, no, coleslaw's on this. And then they eat it. And, and then they're like, oh, like, oh, oh yeah, this makes a lot of sense. sense. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah I, I've never been a big fan of coleslaw. Slaw. Coleslaw. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. and, and uh, obviously, <laughs> one day they put it into a euro, and I'm just like, oh, I'm a <laughs> fan of coleslaw. <laughs> so weird. I did that too, yeah. Yeah, um, you add a little bit of uh, some some secret sauce, yeah. and then all of a sudden it's the bomb. Yeah. It is. It really is. It's cabbage, right? Yeah. yeah. Cabbage and... Uh, cabbage yeah, and, and coleslaw some, dressing. Yeah, like carrots. Uh, carrots and, and stuff. Mayonnaise, yeah. That's it. Yeah. Salt, yeah. pepper, a little See, bit of sugar. See, for some reason, I've never been a fan, and I have no clue why. Maybe it was the sauce that was in there. It's a mm. coleslaw dressing. I think it's because a lot of us grew up, like, at school, and they'd, it'd be, like, coleslaw day or something. Like, you know, they'd have like, coleslaw uh, as the side, and it was that gloppy mess of yeah, that kind of brownish green color stuff. <laughs> they were probably using iceberg lettuce <laughs> yeah. instead of cabbage. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you Just know. save money. You that, know, I think they were using um, uh, what's that? Uh, not, uh, Miracle Whip. I love oh, Miracle yeah. Whip. That's, yeah. Mm. Like Montana, I'm from Montana. That's We're not really let's, anymore. let's do it. Uh, <laughs> gotta have a zing, baby. Are you American whip or something? No, no. no. I, I, no. I barely even let mayonnaise touch anything. Oh, yeah. That's it's, it's a little bit raw that one. I don't anyway, know. we had an awesome pulled pork sandwich. Huge mm. amounts of pulled pork on it. Great flavor. What else is mm. on your menu? Oh, we do uh, beer brats. It's a, a brat that we cook in uh, Hefeweizen, uh, wheat beer, German wheat beer, uh, just all day in that. And uh, it gets served on a pretzel bun with mm. sauerkraut and mustard. Mm. So, and mm. Pretzel buns are delicious. awesome. Oh, they yeah. really are. They are. Mm -hmm. I like them without the salt. No. Pretzel buns. Pretzel, yeah, pretzel, have salt. pretzel salt, dude. It's just so too much salt. Yeah. You salad. Just knock it off. Oh, yeah. We, we do cob salad and a side salad. And then I was Cop reading ready. your menu online about the macaroni and cheese. Oh, yeah. We do mac and cheese, and then we'll top it with whatever uh, barbecue that we have going that day. Who created this? Oh, uh, that was me. That was you? Yeah, that was... It was it's fat kid. Remember that jack-of-all-trades thing? <laughs> yeah. He's also menu creator. You're yeah. just, you just hang out, you know? You know, I'm going to try this out. I always wanted to reinvent the peanut butter jelly sandwich. And how would exactly you do that? I don't know. I, I mean, I, I, let's just think about all the crazy ideas that could possibly come with it. I mean, just... just it's just endless. Endless? You could do yeah. like a grilled mac and cheese peanut butter or something. Yeah, grilled I don't know. Mac and I just cheese. said it out loud and it and didn't then, sound and good. And then, <laughs> yo, check this out. <laughs> like, okay, no, so my, this is next this, that idea. This was the one day. One day I was sitting there and I, I see this. Uh, I think it was romaine, not romaine lettuce, but um, uh, what's the longer pieces of lettuce? Um, um, anyways, there was a long piece of lettuce, <laughs> well, and then it, it just so happened that there was peanut butter and jelly right there. And oh, I'm like, wow. I am so wondering if this would be good on this piece of lettuce. 
And yes, it was. It, it was, was well, actually I, really It couldn't be that different than celery with but peanut that's butter. That's what I was going to say. One of my favorite like healthy snacks is peanut butter and celery. So mm-hmm. that can't no, be seriously, that this is a peanut butter and jelly lettuce wrap. It was freaking crazy good. Really? I was just tripping out. Oh, and I actually try felt that good. When we get home. <laughs> I actually, I actually felt good with it. I actually felt good by eating this, like this, this thing because I thought it was really healthy. So you weren't eating the carbs and the bread. You just had lettuce, just like. I wasn't thinking about none of that either. I was just thinking this might be good. Yeah. It was, a, it was a great moment in my life. Well, before we leave food, <laughs> what is your favorite? Uh, my favorite food at the at the beer garden is the pulled pork sandwich. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Yeah. You can't really go wrong with pulled pork sandwich, oh. but you can go really right if people get addicted to it. Oh, yeah. Well, and I think honestly, like the atmosphere. Oh yeah. You just go in. You're not pressured to get in and get out because there's 40 people waiting in line to get a table. You're there. Well, hopefully at some time that'll be. Oh, yeah. Every now and again, it's. <laughs> but busy, you can but sit outside. Staff, you can yeah. sit outside, and you know, when we were there Sunday, somebody brought their dog. You know how mm-hmm. people are. It's that time of year. Dog. It's that time of year now that that backyard is going to be. Um, and it's I a nice backyard, size but, backyard yeah. bar area. It's it's got a lot of space. Oh yeah. And 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 it's the it's the time of year. This is the time where it's going to shine the most because this is when everybody wants to hang out, have a little bit of fun, just relax in the in the cool air of Prescott, Arizona. Right. Oh, absolutely. Okay, so the main question we always ask is, what's something we don't know? About Mark's beer garden. Ooh, what is something? Um, or about Mark. Ooh. Or about Mark. I or guess. about Mark. Eh, well, maybe I'll both. tell you about the beer like, garden. I got, I, got, <laughs> I got Thug Life tattooed on my yeah. stomach. <laughs> yeah, instead of Thug Life, it's just Bud Light. Bud, yeah. <laughs> Bud Life. Bud Life. Bud Life. <laughs> Bud yeah, Life. That's, yeah, that's one of my oh, no, dark name. secrets. Being a, a craft beer kid who worked for a craft brewery and everything is, is I did work for a Budweiser distributorship for a while. And that's, not, that's not a bad thing. Yeah. It is sometimes. If, if well, you drink it, that might be a bad thing. Yeah, it, it actually was a really good experience. But about the, the beer garden, I guess it's that we, I don't know, I guess almost everything's made from scratch there. Oh, I'm, oh I'll tell you about our specials. Yeah. Almost nobody knows about the specials that we do. We grind our own sausage uh, there. Yes. We'll, uh, and we rotate between uh, awesome specials like that. Uh, we do like a smoked meatloaf uh, one week, and then we'll do what's called uh, vice versa. It's a white sausage the next week. Uh, we even did Italian meatballs one time. That would be amazing. Oh. And yeah, and everything, almost, basically almost everything's cooked on a <laughs> smoker. If it's, face, if it's not, like, like, I'm there, I'm there. If it's not smoked, then it's it's still cooked in the smoker. It's my oven, too. It's like a little outdoor oven. Uh, but yeah, we do weird specials that aren't necessarily German food. I've got um, I've got gumbo on uh, as a special today. Gumbalaya. Yeah. Huh. Gumbo. I had that one time. It was good. We so, tried it. It was kind of spicy. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, it was, spicy. yeah. It was pretty spicy. Yeah. Hmm. So um, I know that we're talking about food, but uh, entertainment is my thing, and mm-hmm. I do like to cover a lot of stuff that you guys have going on. Yeah. Um, local talent is one of your biggest um, deals. So yeah. is it is it one, um, what days are live entertainment? Uh, live entertainment, uh, open mic night is Tuesday, and that's usually people who will eventually play on our Thursday and Saturday night. Uh, as a gig. Band nights as a gig, yeah. And they're, they're just kind of working out new stuff or – playing with new people so uh but yeah so tuesday night is the open mic and then thursday and saturday are the uh the planned gigs and then monday t- monday um, sunday monday what's the rest of your week look like oh let's see uh wednesday is trivia night that's uh, always big oh yeah well, let's try a trivia question right now okay what's my trivia question then? i don't know do you want me to give it to you guys oh yeah give sure. me sure. what's your trivia question um lynn i know you got some trivia questions <laughs> <laughs> Lynn, what? do you have any trivia quest- questions? No? No. Jeez, I was going to go. Fail. Yeah, yeah, that was my fail. Man. Fail, I, San Martin. I, 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 I could ask a random question, but that would be like, I need to know the answer. <laughs> if I don't know the answer, I, know, yeah. I can't give the trivia question, man. <laughs> Actually, we, had, we did have a trivia question. Mm-hmm. We did have a trivia question. It was about the pioneer, um, the pioneer house that lived on top of the hill. Mm-hmm. Um, 50 can, years. <laughs> I gotta ask the Boom. question. <laughs> Boom. Done. Done. I'm just saying. I can't play the question. Hey, I think we have a, a technical error. Yes or no? Okay, never mind. Anyways. <laughs> um <laughs> There's no question. There's no question, guys. I'm so sorry. But anyway, that's why I'm gonna go have to go on Wednesday nights and I'm gonna have to sit there yeah. and start brushing up on my get, uh, get an education. education. Get, 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 get my education. It started off the the guy we hired uh 
to do it. His name's Clay. He's a he's a local um, literature teacher at a at a school. Oh, that's awesome. And uh, his questions were just so hard about, and they were about like 16th century poets. And I was like, buddy, this <laughs> is this is the beer garden. Not, <laughs> but, not that crowd. And, yeah, and, and, and he took to it. He took, yeah, he took to it really well, and, and actually, like, he adjusted. He adjusted and, and was able to keep everybody happy. And it's like it's like we don't have to be smart. You have to make us feel smart. <laughs> it, 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 is, it is Wednesday, man. We're Wednesday at a beer garden. We have to take we have to take it in you know consideration. This is midweek drinking, buddy. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Midweek drinkers are really honestly not that. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I, I'm, a, I'm sometimes a midweek drinker because of those dang mixers. Yeah. Oh yeah. Those mixers are really, really. They're 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 mischievous, man. Those guys are. They're like, oh, business mixer, and I'm like, oh, right on, cool, go meet some people. Next thing you know, it. I'm four beers in. I'm like, this is not cool. Mm-hmm. You guys deceived me. Well, yeah. I've been tricked. Yeah, yeah. Carissa should have one at Beer Garden. Yeah. Carissa, do you hear that? We're just saying. One of your mixers. Monday mixer. Okay, so Tuesday you said is open mic night. Mm-hmm. Uh, Wednesday, Wednesday is, is trivia. trivia. Thursday is live music. Live music. Friday. Uh, Friday we uh, we call it old school hip hop and jazz. Uh, well, that's quite a combination. Well, now that Sean's broken his leg, he's probably not going to be running that anymore. We'll have to figure out who wants to run that. So Friday but, this week might just be. But yeah, we might come play to the bar and from have like a couple. Jurassic yeah, we, Five to. Dr. Dre to, you know, and, and he, he can read a crowd pretty well, oh, so there's nobody who wants to, to hear the, the <laughs> DRE. I mean, all he has to do is just sit there, just give him a comfortable chair, and I think he can handle that. Actually, yeah, that is something that he should come in for. Bring yeah. your pillow and a, yeah. and a footstool. Yeah, just put hey, your... Hey, Dave Grohl can continue to front man a band and with a broken foot oh, in a I'm chair. Gonna, I'm going to have yeah. to tell Sean that. It's like, hey, man, he's got to finish a need... concert, <laughs> and yeah. you're just sitting around. I think you're lazy. You just need a recliner, I'm just saying. You know, get a table across the, we should, yeah, we should actually get a lazy boy <laughs> recliner and then just like stitch into it Sean's chair, yeah. Yeah, like yeah, the captain's yeah, yeah. chair or something. See, this is where I really would Gim- like to vote in um, having an extra uh, double where, you know, when times like this happens, you could go out there and just do this mm-hmm. and, then, and say, hey, you need to go in. Yeah, it's your understudy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. I broke so my leg. You're it. It's your turn. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I don't want to go today. It's your turn. It's your turn. <laughs> we should, Saturday like is live again. music again. It is uh, okay. live music again on uh, Saturday. Uh, Sunday we were uh, watching the the ball games, and now that it's that's kind of winding down, we're doing a uh, a retro gaming night. We have an old Sega Genesis hooked yes. up to one TV, a Super oh, Nintendo hooked up to yeah, another. I've seen it. Uh, we have a Nintendo Wii. Almost everybody just gravitates towards the Wii and either plays tennis or bowling. Um, boop, we're hoping boop, to get a. That's going to be in my head now. Thank you. Right. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I, was, I was going for it. Oh, <laughs> dude, I can I can literally make something go in your head right now. It's it's, 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 the, it's the theme song to Andy Griffith's song. Oh, thanks. Nope. <laughs> yeah. yeah. See, told you. <laughs> um, so, your op- what are your hours? Uh, we are open from 11 to 10 on what I call school night, so okay. uh, Sunday through uh, Thursday, and then Friday and Saturday we are open until midnight, but if, if we got a good crowd in there, you know, we're allowed to stay open until 2. Um, food all day? Uh, food, uh, as long as I'm there, yeah. Oh, okay. I'm always so there, usually so. it's not like, oh, they're closed for... Uh, we call it business decline. Uh, so let's say we were really busy for happy hour, but then we haven't seen a, a soul for a while, we'll start cleaning up the kitchen and get yeah. get ready to to shut down but uh we'll certainly accommodate somebody who wants so to get somebody dinner. came in and wanted to wanted to eat something you could scrounge something oh yeah definitely there's always a pretzel available there's always like the chili and everything before we oh uh, chili. that would be pretty cool yeah. if it was like mom's kitchen you'd be like go ahead man go, make, go make yourself a there. sandwich <laughs> yeah and i mean yeah we, we don't close down at dinner time you right, know right, we'll, right. we'll close down you know half an hour before close Okay, if cool. there's nobody so you you mentioned this happy hour what is what's what's your happy hour uh happy hour is monday through friday uh two till six. Ooh, two to six so yep. you can actually get off work and hit happy hour it's yep. not going to end at five so you go oh i missed happy hour yep. yeah. and it's uh yeah it's a buck off of all draft beers um domestic bottles are 250 and then uh, house wines and well drinks are also a dollar off and then our sunday happy hour is a uh, four dollar german half liters all day 
So right and it's not just beer, folks. I think you have wine and oh, yeah. drinks as well, so it's a full bar. Right, and also uh, food items uh, apply to that, too. The uh, the bratwurst, the currywurst, and the pretzels are all two bucks off. What's the capacity, just in case everybody decides to go over to your place today? <laughs> uh, we can. The fire department says 100. All right, nice. Man. That's so, a good number. And we already know how that works. <laughs> Some people back in the days where we were like, oh, only four people were allowed in this car. Heck no, man. Mm, that's not true. Whole family in. How many people are allowed <laughs> We got a trunk with lots of space. <laughs> <laughs> we make it work. <laughs> Sorry, fire department. <laughs> so, so I will point out because I know this about Mark and his commitment to the bar and making sur- sure he's there to serve you. I know he had some people try to pull over that they were just, dis- you know, they were disgruntled that he wasn't open on Snowpocalypse. Oh, right. But um, see, I know that he's so committed. He was there. He walked there from his house mm-hmm. and was open and was there, open to serve beer to. I think Those actually, did, didn't it. you have a couple people show up? Yeah, I have. <laughs> it, it became about a dozen people by the end. I just, I went over there and I was like, well, just in case, you know, I'm not doing anything. So I, better, I better be open. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I, I started barbecuing and people walked in and the first people who walked in there, like, are you open? I said, well, no, but I'll sell you a beer. <laughs> <laughs> so, Today's a good no, day for yes, you to give some I'll, beer. I'll turn on Selling all the Selling some hot toddies. Yeah, we've got, we've got heat and we've got beer. So let's do this. <laughs> so are you hiring uh i am i'm looking for uh some part-time kitchen help okay and uh, perhaps a bartender or two for when we get busy in the summer and i'd like to get them trained up in the next month or six weeks and, and replacing a dj <laughs> yeah and, a, and a, or, or at least somebody <laughs> at least somebody to spin the record for sean if you can't reach it <laughs> Okay, so let's go we'll to uh, extra extra extensions. Yeah. What, what kind of employees you're looking for? What kind of people do you want to work at Mark's Beer Garden? I, I'm somebody, <laughs> uh, not necessarily you, like somebody who is in the service industry uh, or has been for a long time. Maybe they want to try something new. Uh, I, you know, I kind of pride myself on having done a lot of different mm-hmm, things, and so like I like I like it when people uh, have had interesting jobs that I haven't had, and they can tell me about them or uh, just take that perspective into it and say hey this is what we did when i worked at whatever the alamo or something so um <laughs> way to way to connect that one yeah, yeah it's something weird it's like i was a tour guide at you know somewhere else that's, and, the, that's the, um, you know, i, I did a tour this, guide of your it, beer of your beer garden it definitely helps when uh somebody has a uh, at least a, a general interest in in beer and knows the process of making beer so that they can answer questions for customers and help somebody find a beer that they really like. Well, and I think it's a huge benefit that you've kind of served all different aspects of kind of the beer life. Mm -hmm. So you understand. So somebody who's coming in to do kitchen help, you've done it. So it's not like you just own it and... Okay, you're, somebody's going to come work for you, and you don't understand it. I think that makes a big difference for right. people. And, yeah, and I definitely You've just somebody all who's aspects. Will, yeah, somebody who's willing to learn and, and understands that I'm also willing to do what I'm asking them to do. Exactly. Can we create a, a, a position over there where we just like taste the beer? Beer taster. <laughs> yeah, it's a uh, it's an unpaid position. Actually, <laughs> and, and it's a, Mark. We, we call it. We, yeah, we call it. Yeah, and it's mine. Yeah. <laughs> Dang it, man! I was trying to get myself in here. I don't pay me yet. Yeah, I'd be like, man, let me just—I'll just come over and taste one of your new beers that come out all night long. <laughs> all night long. But, uh, if you come in at the right time, though, when the distributors are are showing off new products, though, if you're sitting at the bar, we'll definitely this let be you guys this sample. This yeah. Sam Martin's like, and what day is that? Yeah, what we should start time? creating events for this yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Beer yeah. tasting. Yeah. All Hensley's of a sudden, it goes in. from two people to forty. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> beer tasting for all of you beer tasters out there. Mm-hmm. But you don't know when. Yeah, you just but gotta come in. The beer business is a high pass, fat, you know, high paced business. So mm-hmm. you want somebody who's gonna be right you know, hustle. Right. I, I, I definitely would like for somebody who's gonna hustle, but also not rush the customer, right. help them feel at home. Yeah. Because that is exactly the atmosphere. Yeah, you better be ready. happy serving beers. Okay, yeah. let's go through this again. Where are you located? Your hours? Are you on social media? Yes, I think you are. Mm-hmm. And your phone number? Uh, my phone number uh, for the bar is 928-515-1044. Mm-hmm. Location again? Uh, that is uh, 1590 Swenson Street. It's just off of Iron Springs uh, down the road from Dry Gulch. Gotcha. And your hours? My hours are 11 to 10 on weeknights and weekends uh, we close at midnight or stay open if you bring me a group. That's awesome. Go check it out, you guys. It's a really great place to bring a gr- bunch of friends and hang outside and you know, I'm sure you could smoke a cigarette or smoke a cigar if that's what you oh, yeah, desire. People, just, people it's, are, you have a fire pit? Yeah, we have a fire, fire pit. Fire pit? Mm-hmm. I remember that. 
and you know it's just a great atmosphere to just hang out and get some good food and you know socialize with your friends because there's really not a lot of places like that around here that you can literally just have a good time and sit yeah. around and visit yeah and you know what it, it you know prescott has a lot to offer Mm -hmm. in in downtown it it does have a lot but at the same time there's so much more out there Mm -hmm. around the area and this is the whole reason why that this is this uh, podcast is out there so we could go ahead and bring people to the people so you guys know that there's more stuff out there that is happening and and this is a a really good find you know i I try to get over to the spot i've been over there twice so don't don't, you know forgive me Mm -hmm. but um you know there's there's a there's things that you know that people would be directed to and and i used to call it back in the days people were really really guided to the downtown deal Mm -hmm. because of this beer hopping so Ideally, this is not a beer hopping spot. This is a place where you just hang out, relax, have Meet some fun. Meet me in Mark's Beer Garden and hang out with six of your friends. And yeah, play play some yeah. uh, games in the backyard. Yeah, and play some giant Jenga. And if you're tired of screaming over, your, you know, the crowd to hear your friends. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, you, yeah, can, that you too. can go outside. Yeah. Yeah. But, but the outside. other thing is also a tourism tourist uh, uh, attraction downtown. So, mm-hmm. you know, to get out of that busk of stuff, you know, just... That's a, this is the place to go. Well, right. it kind of is what makes every Arizona Prescott everyone's hometown. Yep. Mm-hmm. It's kind of what we're after, right? Mm-hmm. All of us. So thank you so much for being on the show. We yeah. appreciate Thanks you coming me. in. Thanks, guys. Absolutely. Hashtag beer life. Thank you. Thank <laughs> oh. you. Oh, oh shoot. Beer life. Oh. Beer life. <laughs> All right, guys. So, Thanks, our team. Uh, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and take this uh, show to another level by saying bye. Bye. <laughs> we'll catch you next but time. Don't forget, don't forget to. Uh, did you already end it? Don't forget to go ahead and um, <laughs> <laughs> don't forget to go to Prescott E News yes. and and uh, sign up for the newsletter so you can go ahead and see all or hear all these podcasts and also see our beautiful face everywhere we go around Prescott E News. And once again, thanks for following and thank you. Thank you. We'll, we'll talk to you next week. Hey, thank you. Bye bye.